to add polynomials, you have to combine like terms. But a like term, remember, is something that has matching exponents and has the same variables in it. So those are the th two things that have to match for you to be able to consider it a like term. To subtract polynomials, you first have to distribute the negative. And then combine like terms. In example one, we have two trinomials that are being added together. Notice that if you're adding two trinomials together, all you have to do is look for like terms. Since x is to the second power in both of these, both the variable and the exponent match, so they're considered like terms. The aqua highlights, notice, have a variable of x to the first power. So they have both like variables, matching variables, and matching exponents. In the last two terms, notice that they're just numbers with no variables, and so they match as well. Let's go ahead and combine those like terms. Now we'll have 7x to the second minus 2x minus in example two, we have a negative sign between the trinomials. Remember that if you're subtracting a polynomial from another polynomial, you have to distribute the negative first, which is what we're going to do now. Once that negative has been distributed to all the different terms, we can now combine like terms. Let's go ahead and again look for like terms. Notice that the value or the sign that's preceding each term is the sign that is attached to that term. Once again, combine the like terms. 3x to the third minus 8x to the third is negative 5x to the third, negative 4x minus 9x is negative 13x, positive 7 plus 2 is positive 9, and I no longer have any common terms or like terms to add together. So that is the simplified expression. Same thing with example one. We can go back and check to see if we have any more like terms that could be added together. Once we realize that there are no more like terms that could be combined, we've finished and that is our simplified expression.